Some people are incredibly wealthy, while others barely make ends meet. Why is this the case? Do you ever find yourself wondering whether there is a hidden tree somewhere that produces money, but only the rich know about it? This is a question that many people have, but it has never been easy to answer. There are many factors that contribute to the disparity in wealth between rich people and poor people. In today's video, I'll tell you eight things that rich people do differently than poor people and often affects their financial success or distress. But before I do that, please make sure you watch this video until the end and do not skip any part so that you don't miss out on those eight things that could potentially change your life. Also, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Number one, rich people read a lot. Wealthy people believe that the more you study, the more you earn. This is frequently done through reading. Warren Buffett, one of the most influential and successful investors said in his documentary, I still probably spend five or six hours a day reading. I like to sit and think. I spend a lot of time doing that and sometimes it is pretty unproductive but I find it enjoyable to think about business or investment problems. Another enthusiast book reader is Mark Cuban, owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He has on various occasions stated the value he gives to reading. He once said, everything I read was public. Anyone could buy the same books and magazines. The same information was available to anyone who wanted it. Turns out most people didn't want it. And Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX is an avid reader, who whenever is asked how he builds rockets he goes on to answer, I read books. Poor people. Only one in every 50 admits to engaging in self-improvement reading habits on a daily basis. As a result, they lack the expertise to make sound financial judgments. Number 2. Rich people surround themselves with positive and successful people. It's been stated that you become like the five people you spend the most time with. So take that into consideration. And rich people understand that your social circle determines your success. This is why people like to spend time with other people who are positive about achieving success, taking advantage of new possibilities, and generally living a happy life. Because of this, successful people have a greater chance of maximizing their understanding of the world by surrounding themselves with positive people. As is typically the case with poor people, they make little attempt to interact with people who would help them evolve into more successful versions of themselves. Instead, they would rather be pulled down by negative influences, destroying any possibilities of improving their financial circumstances. Number 3. The rich care more about their net worth than their income. Poor people frequently speak in terms of hourly salary. Wealthy people, on the other hand, understand that an hourly wage is not nearly as essential as someone's net worth. One can earn a lot of money each hour, but if they don't know how to keep it, they will end up broke. The rich individual understands that having a huge net worth opens up numerous opportunities and will result in additional wealth in the future. Number 4. The rich concentrate on possibilities rather than barriers. Once upon a time, a shoe salesman found himself in a faraway land attempting to sell shoes to the locals. The only problem was that no one there wore shoes, so selling them was often hard. The salesperson eventually gave up and left the area, frustrated. He ran into another shoe salesperson on his way out. Don't bother coming into town, the first salesman said. These people don't even wear shoes. The second salesman's eyes widened. Nobody has any shoes. Then I'd be able to sell a pair to everyone in town. We're lucky to have an unexplored market. Perspective is everything. As you can see, people who are poor often see problems and give up quickly, while the wealthy see chances and enter fields that most people would never consider. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, which I put a lot of time and energy into, I would really appreciate it if you guys tap the like button and make sure you subscribe with notification on. And if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll drop a brand new video next week about the same topic. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 5. The rich expand beyond their problems. Poor people perceive issues as barriers rather than opportunities. They see challenges as a threat and end up reverting to their previous state instead of figuring out how to face the challenge. Rich people, on the other hand, thrive on fresh challenges 
and figure out how to face them head-on instead of surrendering. Rich people realize the significance of problem-solving, which is the foundation of many financial success stories. Number 6. The rich are savvy with money. Penny smart, dollar stupid, as the saying goes. This is a term that many poor people adopt. This expression essentially says that some people are very concerned about how they spend tiny amounts of money, such as when purchasing a cup of coffee, but do not make good judgments with significant quantities of money, such as investing in self-improvement and education. Rich people use both tactics by making disciplined pennies judgments and investing significant sums of money in conferences, paid mentorship, and other activities that promote continuous progress and personal wealth. Number 7. The rich aren't afraid to market their own worth. Most rich people have a skill or an idea that has garnered them fortune. As a result, they aren't scared to share their abilities with others. Sharing their best qualities is frequently done in order to distribute information and assist others flourish. The majority of the poor are not exceptional in any way. And unfortunately, being average is a step toward having average money. Poor people often don't know how crucial it is to market themselves when trying to progress. Now, if you are still watching this part of the video, please leave a comment down below to let me know that you're still watching. Share your opinions in the comment section. I would love to hear them. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 8. The rich make new friends on a regular basis. Meeting new people has only positive consequences for the rich whether it is for making friends or discovering future clients. 75% of rich people network and volunteer at least five hours a month. Only one in 10 people who are struggling financially does this, which means poor people miss out on new connections and more importantly, many new chances to get ahead financially. These eight factors are just some of the many ways the wealthy and poor are different and implementing these habits in your life will help you become wealthy too. Now, if you want to watch more videos like this, then you need to watch this video right here. This video is one of the best on this channel. You can click on this video to watch further.